Hey friends, hope you're having a wonderful Palm Sunday. I am just hanging out outside. My boys have been playing out here a little bit uh, since we got home from church. And um, I just wanted to share a, a few things with you today. First off, um, the past few years I've really, truly grown to love the Palm Sunday story. Um, in scripture because um, you know the Holy Spirit really just highlighted something to me that's part of that story and it's not the parts of the story that we often focus on and talk about it's not about um, just the palm branches or the children that were shouting Hosanna or Jesus riding it on the donkey but in that same chapter a few verses down um, Jesus is at the temple and um, a group of adults um, are questioning Jesus about what they had seen and heard and I personally find that part of the story just kind of humorous because thousands of years later groups of adults often question sometimes what they see or hear and don't understand um, about kids uh, worshiping Jesus and <clears throat> So these adults are questioning Jesus about the Hosannas they had heard from the lips of children. And Jesus responded and he said, have you never read from the lips of children you Lord have called forth your praise? Now, if you are looking that, at that in a printed Bible and a little sidebar, the footnote section, it's gonna reference there that Jesus was quoting Psalm 8-2. And these people at the temple would have known what the scrolls said. They would have known and been familiar with this scripture that was in Psalm 8 too. And so ultimately Jesus was kind of saying to them, do you not know? Do you not know? Um, because that verse Psalm 8, 1 and 2 is my favorite in the Bible because it's really the verse that God used to just open my eyes to see and understand the power that's in kids' worship. I encourage you to look it up. I love it in the message translation. But I find it so important and significant um, that Jesus, in the midst of what would be our salvation story, in the midst of what that next week, the days that follow, would unfold, um, of all that he would experience to ultimately be the one that would be our sacrifice and go on the cross and die, and the miracle of conquering death and having victory and being raised from the dead and Jesus is alive and all the things that we celebrate as part of this faith that we believe in. And I find it oh so significant that Jesus paused and he took the time to highlight to these adults that maybe kind of, you know, were confused by what they'd seen and heard. Maybe they didn't really understand. They may, they might have been looking down upon their nose at those children that were crying out Hosanna, those palm branches that were waving. And yet Jesus took time on the most significant week for his life on earth to highlight to us in scripture the importance and the power that is in the worship of children. And this is something that I feel like it's, it's like a snowball inside me that's rolling down the mountain. And as it rolls, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, I've grown up in the children's ministry space my whole life. It's what I've been around. It's what my dad did. Um, I have been focused on music for kids since officially 2008 even though I dipped my toe in the water a few years before that. And, um, you know, so as I was in church this morning, God, as he does, he like drops a little revelation of just 
time and how the pieces fall into play. And you know, I wrote, um, I wrote the Hosanna Rock song, which is the number one song in my catalog. It's y'all's most favorite. It's most popular. Um, I wrote that song because I wanted to make sure that churches had a song that they could sing with their kids on Palm Sunday. And so my goal and my purpose for writing the song was that. Thankfully, it's a song you guys love to sing all year long. And so we can sing it all year long and I love that. But um, it has a special place in my heart this time of year because this is why I wrote it. And um, the Spirit of God just kind of dropped, dropped some revelation to me today of just the significance of me writing that song um, for the purpose of helping you guys celebrate Palm Sunday. But the significance as well um, of children's worship on that Palm Sunday. And as the scripture reads and unfolds in that story that I shared with you guys, um, you know, ultimately Jesus was asking of those leaders. He was ultimately saying, don't you know, don't you understand the power of their worship? And I feel like for me, over the past few years, increasingly so with my book, um, Sweet Sound, if you haven't read it, you need to. Um, with what I'm able to do, sharing breakouts and at conferences and writing for magazines and being a part of podcasts and whatnot. I am standing before children's ministry leaders, but also at times pastors and worship pastors and next gen directors and parents and anyone who will listen to me. And I'm standing before them and I'm saying, don't you know? Don't you know? Do you not understand? Have you never read from the lips of children you, Lord, have called forth your praise? And so this Palm Sunday, I just want to remind you of the significance of kids and their worship. And I want to invite you into the process of nurturing that and discipling that into the lives that you care for, whether they're your own children at home or whether it's a group of kids that you minister to at your church or it's a part of your congregation and your church family. Um, I just wanted to share those things with you and I hope you'll be inspired and I hope you'll take to heart um, all that Jesus did for us and the price that was paid this week. But take time, just like Jesus did on that day to pause and reflect and to encourage someone else of the power that is in kids worship. So thanks for tagging me in your photos and your videos today of your kids singing Hosanna Rock. It makes my day to press play on those and hear their voices and just to be the tiniest part of what you guys are doing to love these kids and to point and lead them to Jesus. And so I'm forever grateful and I'm in your corner Thanks for watching and listening.